안녕하세요. You're listening to Four from On One podcast. Welcome back to Four from On One podcast. This is Giovanni hosting episode 64. We've got a very entertaining podcast today to all of our listeners. We're joined here by Hyukjun and uh, Keith, who's doing a little bit of traveling. As he mentioned a couple of weeks ago, he'll tell you all about it starting now. So, Mr. Keith, you yeah. are looking very, very mature, very beard-like, short <laughs> hair, like you've seen some shit in your life the past couple of weeks. Where the hell are you now? I'll give you a hint. Namaste. 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 Do we know? A yoga place? <laughs> yeah, definitely yoga place. Very hot. Well above India. maybe 1.4 billion people. Yes, India. Yeah, India. India. Is the place. So I'm no. recording. Excuse my. I'm recording in my hotel. We've got a blackout, so we've got lighting issues. And outside sounds like India. So just excuse the background noise, but it's good to talk There to you. There we go. Boys. There yeah. it is. There's a first tuk tuk honk. I love that. <laughs> Now I've been to India previously. Hakchun, have you ever been to India before? No. You haven't had the opportunity. I mean, uh, okay. No, I mean like if I had, India is like. The only two country that I don't want to visit. Sorry, <laughs> okay, well, well, sorry, yeah, boys, but okay. yeah, <laughs> it definitely wasn't on my bucket list. But I heard from other people who were like, "Oh, I, I went. You know, I got, I got lost there spiritually. I went to take some <laughs> meditation classes. The Beatles went there and wrote all their weird songs on LSD. So I thought, well, I have to see it. And before yeah. we dive into kind of a key little adventures, I will just say briefly that I went about six. Six years ago, because what we're 2023 now, so in 2017, after my contract oh. ended in Korea, I went there for six weeks. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Keith, yeah. before you yeah. went to uh, India, you actually stopped in Dubai, right? You and yeah. Nepal, right? You're not traveling alone, or are you traveling alone currently? No. So the way it all started, like I was okay. going to travel this year. I've said many times, and I thought Philippines, Thailand, maybe back to Vietnam, Bali. And then my friend, she saw me uh, traveling in Vietnam, and we worked on a cruise ships like seven years ago. And she goes, "I want to go traveling again. Are you going traveling like now?" And I said, like, "Yeah." And then I said, "What countries do you want to visit?" And she said, "Dubai, yeah. India." I'm like, "Oh, what about oh, all boy. those other countries I just mentioned? <laughs> do you do yeah, not want yeah. to go there?" <laughs> and like, yeah. "Okay, if, if I'm going to go to Dubai and in India, I might as well go with someone." And then I'm sure. Like, all right, let's get let's do Dubai and in India. And you have to, yeah, that's fair. especially for least. a woman. I have to say, before you start, yeah. like, I, I would highly advise anyone who's considering about going to India really do travel with either a male companion or in groups. Like, I, I yeah. really advise that, yes, for safety purposes. Like, I did a lot of research about India, like, to prepare. She, she's, I don't know, Taj Mahal, and I just want to see this and that. And, like, we'll talk about my first night in, in, in a moment. But let's, it, let's compare. It was, mm -hmm. it was a culture shock. Oh my god, it was. Crazy. We'll talk about first impressions around. Oh world, yes. Oh yes. Holy f. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> you can say it. it's India. I understand. <laughs> it's India. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I started in Dubai. We flew into Dubai. My baggage got lost. I don't have any baggage. 14 days later, uh, I should name the airline, but I'm still trying to fight to find at least get it back for compensation. But um, sure. Dubai. We got there. And it was the wettest that our accommodation host said it's the wettest period we've, he's ever seen in his life. So it rained all really? the first two days. And, but we got a bit of sunshine. And luckily, that was when we went up the Burj Khalifa. So uh, I enjoyed Dubai as an interesting city. It's very okay. gimmicky and touristy and all the different attractions. But there is some fun to be had there for sure. Yeah. Have you guys nice. been to Dubai? Yeah. Have you? No. I haven't either. No. I do have a couple of questions about Dubai. What is the yeah. nightlife like? From my understanding, I believe like certain countries, especially in that like region, this could be me because I'm ignorant, I'm American, but I yeah. I was under the impression that alcohol is like prohibited there, at least in Middle Eastern countries, especially what we yeah. saw like Qatar and Dubai. I, is that the same thing or is that kind of more yeah. lenient maybe towards Western visitors? Like you don't have alcohol shops. There's no alcohol shops. The only way you're going to find alcohol is in special bars and stuff like that uh there's rooftop bars and there are people drinking uh you just gotta find the bars yeah uh 
it's not it's like, a, like I didn't really prohibition error or you need like a password like speakeasies just to get yeah, any kind of places probably, maybe yeah. or just a lot of money <laughs> yeah oh uh, boy you're gonna like bribe yeah. your way into these little bars just to wet your nah, wet I've, your whistle I think like a lot of the <laughs> you know all the well-known hotels they've got their brand in Dubai sure. and then they, um, yeah. they have some cocktails and stuff um, yeah. like something like maybe like foreigners only kind of bar yeah yeah mm. Um, but overall, like Dubai, it was definitely fun. Uh, we I really enjoyed the old town. Unfortunately, it was raining most of the time. I got us our first taste of people, you know, buy this, buy this, buy that. So it was a good little taster for India. Um, mm. And then yes. we really liked like the Dubai Mall and Burj Khalifa. It was okay. It was what I thought it'd be, but we really enjoyed the um, Dubai Marina area, which is all the way down the other end of Dubai. Uh, it's yes. actually remind me of Miami in uh, America. Uh, I've never been. There. You got the water areas, you got the hotels, yeah. you got all all the foreign restaurants and bars. Uh, actually, I think that's where you can drink down that side of the Dubai. Sure. And mm. uh, it's actually got a beach as well. You got uh, Ferris wheel, carnival stuff. Uh, so if I was to go back again and want a vacation in Dubai, I'd stay yes. down in the Dubai Marina area. Yeah. A lot, mm. lot better, lot better vibe. Yeah. Now, in our previous like travel guide episodes, we always talk about at least you specifically. You always talk about like accommodations, uh, pricing, mm. where you go. Where did you stay as far as like accommodation wise? Just to kind of oh, get like an estimate. We we it is not cheap. Like um, the cheapest room we could find uh, with our own bathroom was fifty five dollars US dollars a night, and that's. Oh, it's okay. And it's pretty good. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's yeah. Coming for like India, where it's like three dollars a night, but yeah, 55, <laughs> especially because uh, I'm spending like five hundred dollars a night because all these millionaires yeah. with their oil and things like that. Yeah. But yeah. then I think it's jumped like up very too? fast. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Then it jumped up very fast to you know the quality ones, and then you got your resorts, you got your ho- massive boutique hotels. Uh, so I wouldn't say in terms of accommodation, Dubai is budget friendly. Yeah. Right. Mm. They and you were there for two days, right? Yeah. Three nights. Okay. Three nights. Three nights. Yeah. Okay, three excuse nights. me. Yeah. Three nights. Yeah. So it was, it was it was a good time. Uh, they, they had this the ski resort, indoor ski resort. I think they're building more towers, more gardens, and there's plenty to do. There's a lot to do. So there are things to do. You just got to. Um, and the, I think in hindsight, they should have made the tram system, the train system bigger. Like it just gets quite cool. Um, mm. yeah. It's it's a good gimmicky city. It's like a Las Vegas, I guess, or like a you know. Think, sure. Yeah. I guess yeah. I didn't expect to get like a lot of rain, especially. No. I thought it was just desert. That's really surprising. Uh, <laughs> no, Hachu, did you have any questions about uh, Dubai before we jump into India? Anything yeah, new I mean, that's tickling uh, your mind? Speaking of speaking of the desert, I mean, like I heard a lot of things that uh, about like desert tour in Dubai. Yeah. Did we looked into it. Or... Yeah, all right. Yeah, we looked into it. Uh, but we'll, in India, we're going to do a similar thing, and it's a lot cheaper here. <laughs> so, uh, Way cheaper. Yeah, we, yeah, sure. We, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. So we did a desert a, tour. Yeah, That's we did an huh? over, well, This is in India. We did an overnight camel safari, which you could have done in Dubai, but here mm-hmm. it's like, um, like less than half, like more than half the price. Like it's a lot cheaper. Uh, like the Burj Khalifa, I'm sure everyone's got the Burj Khalifa. Mm. I thought it, they would charge a lot more. It's about, I think that's it. It's about forty dollars or so to go to the 124th oh. floor, which is not too bad. Mm-hmm. But if you want to go to the highest part that um, the public can go to, 170 bucks. Pass. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Actually, I'm afraid sorry, of heights anyway. So. What? I think it was sixty dollars. Sixty dollars, maybe forty-five, fifty dollars. You want to go first thing in the morning as the sun rising. Yeah, so sixty bucks oh, for the Burj Khalifa. Oh, that'll the be The fountain okay. show. Awesome. Yeah, the fountain show uh, outside the Burj Khalifa. Awesome, awesome, um, and that's free. And uh, yeah, yeah, there is a lot of stuff to do. You do sort of, you would have to plan your days out because things aren't quite next to each other. So you'd have to pick what you want to do and. Uh, sort depending on how long you're there for, um, because yeah, it's quite spread out. Yeah, exciting. 
Yeah. Well, I'm ready. I don't know about you, Hook. I'm ready to move on to India. You ready to jump into this? <laughs> Let's just go. Let's now, Keith, before you left, I gave you three tips, right? Prior to flying to India. Do you remember what those three tips were? Nah, tell me. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> All right, for, for our listeners, whoever's listening, <laughs> there were three tips that I gave Keith prior to him leaving. Tip number one is that everything, and I put this all in caps, everything is negotiable in India. Negotiable. You can handle your yeah. way through everything. Car rides, tuk-tuk rides. When you go to a supermarket, you find something for 30 rupees, you can handle it down to 20 rupees if you truly desire. Like Everything is <laughs> negotiable. Rule number two, when you either if you're walking or a tuk-tuk driver, you know, those little cars try to approach you. Again, not only can you haggle with them, but you have to be careful because a lot of them are like, are given commission from different businesses. So even though you might want to go somewhere else, they'll take you completely somewhere else to get commission from that business, like completely out of your way, which is kind of a nuisance. So I always told them, if you ever want to hail a tuk-tuk, you get to like a busy train station, there's always like a small little police station that will hail it for you. That way you're one, you're paid by the meter and you're not getting ripped off or being taken out of your way. And three, my personal favorite and a lifelong experience I'll never forget this applied to either Varanasi or Goa or any other hippie little town. If you're going to have any lassie, if you want to try the bang lassie, which is, you know, mixed with a little of devil's yeah. lettuce, don't get the strong <laughs> type. Always ask for either small to medium because you will have a long trip. My <laughs> personal trip was 16 hours long. 16 hours. I was stoned and I'll never forget it. And I'll never, ever, ever do it again on my children's lives. So those are the three tips that I have for people hey, good going tip. to India. <laughs> All right. Yes. Very, yeah, very that's, knowledgeable that's tips. Very practical tip. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So you flew into India, having just a little bit of taste in Dubai about haggling. Tell us about your first night and then we will compare stories for a good All while. right. So Delhi, uh, we mm -hmm. arrived at the airport and then we luckily had done some research. When you get into the airport, you could find this police official taxis because once you get yes. out of the airport there's taxi 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 i know they also it's got right in uber, the face mm -hmm. uber taxis and stuff stuff like this but i went straight i saw the sign for the police officer yeah. and i don't know how legit they are but i just like i read about it sounds legit let's go and it wasn't mm -hmm. like for a 30 minute taxi ride it was only like six dollars like it was so See? cheap yeah, yeah. Mm. um yeah. but then we had our hotel booked and where our hotel was is in a little alleyway. So the taxi couldn't get down this alleyway, the direction it came, it should have gone the other yeah. way. So yeah. he told us to get out and just walk the rest. Yeah. In the middle of- Here your bags, rain, take a walk. <laughs> in the middle of uh, about seven o'clock at night. So it was, the, it was night time. And oh, so my, really. friend, my friend's got a suitcase, like a big suitcase. And mm -hmm. I had a backpack, not too much stuff, just because my stuff got missing. But I see we your so, but go ahead. We so touristy that all I knew exactly where it was because I had Google Maps and I knew we just had yeah. to go down the street and then turn left and then just walk down that street. So we go down yeah. and then where I wanted to learn, turn left, they were doing road construction and like they were digging oh. it up. I'm like, shit, okay. How do I get? Detour I just need to get over there. Like, <laughs> and then within like they see from seconds, Bugs Life, you know, mm -hmm. it's like we were like bees to honey, like will the honey, like the bees just whoosh, come here, mm -hmm. come and come to my shop, come to yep. the shop. What do you need? Uh, what do you need? Come this way, come this way. And then like I want to go there, and then they like point to the other. You should go this way. And then yep. down this dark alleyway, I'm like. I started walking like, and then like, and my friends were like, no, we're not going down there. And I'm like, oh, yeah, uh. back on the street. <laughs> yep. And like, we're starting to get our mind, like she was getting stressed. I was getting, all right, this is pretty scary. Like I, I thought I was prepared, but this is quite scary. Like, you know, we had valuables in our bags and stuff like that. And like, sure. I, she's a girl. Like, I just want to protect her. Like mm -hmm. guys were like, yes. And like, I ended up, all right, give me a suitcase, carry out. We're walking over the construction. So we just walked over the construction and went straight to the Ooh. hotel and just. And that Grand was how your room closed it, locked it, started breathing heavily. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going there till morning. When the sun comes we're... up, then we go back out. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, I'm staying here for another 10 days. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was it was a culture shock. It was some of the like uh, it was surreal, but um, 
you know, we fought through it. We went on a tour the next day and required getting a tuk tuk to the other side of the city. And we slowly, like, things started to come together and we mm. found the good side of India most of the time. Most of the time, yeah. Um, but yeah, that first night was, even me, I was getting quite, well, holy shit, what's going on? Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. how, about you, how about you in uh, the, when you went? All right, so keep in mind, I didn't fly in from Dubai. I actually flew in from Paris. Where it was, I went to Europe first. I should have stopped in India and then went to Europe right after, but I went from Amsterdam to Paris for five days and then from Paris smack dab to New Delhi. Now, I didn't have the luxury of arriving in the evening. It was like two in the morning I arrived. So by oh, the wow. time I got out, the thing, again, I arranged it for to have, because I knew it was coming so late, I had uh, the hotel or the hostel send a driver to pick me up. Mm. But it took them forever because, again, nobody in India is on time because there's a bunch of traffic. You know, and my American ass is like, all right, I'm going to arrive at 2. I expect them at 2.30. They didn't come to like 3.34 in the morning. So I was out there like literally just waiting with all these people just staring and staring and staring. <laughs> But finally, when I find the driver with the little sign with my name on it, we just I just jump right into it. I thought, dear God, I'm not going to sleep. I don't know where the hell he's going to take me. i got to be alert at all times. Eyes at the back of my head, <laughs> my sides, everywhere, you name it. And so we finally pull in to God knows where. I get dropped off at the hostel. I check in. I land this bunk bed. And I thought, dear God, I went from like Paris to Delhi. Like <laughs> half a day and I'm like, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> Same thing. And I was just like, dear yeah. God. And it was just a lot. Um, I do have to ask, have you had or experienced the notorious deli belly since you've been there? Uh, I got uh, Jaipur belly. belly. Jaipur. You got the Jaipur um, belly. Jaipur okay. belly. So I, was like, I must say I love the food here. The food is so good. Uh, I, mm-hmm. It's much better than I thought it would be. And yes. I love it too much. And I got too yes. confident in Delhi. I was eating all the curries and paransa and all these foods, naans and I was meant to have just a little meal, like per meal, like just a little bit. Let's just try yeah. it, try it. And then uh, we went to Jaipur. We had a quite a good tour. We went up to the fort. I was quite hungry. And they have tallies. I don't know if you know what a tally looks like. It's a bit like a Korean school lunch where they give you a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, on yeah, a, yeah. Like a, a Korean school lunch oh, tray. Oh, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, you get like uh, You get a lot. You get a lot of punch. So they had... I was in Rajasthan and I said, oh, I should try a tali, Rajasthan tali. I'm in Rajasthan, why not? So they gave me the three naans and then they gave me uh, some sweet something and then uh, like a yogurt, like a, mm-hmm. yeah. yes. and then dal and then three curries. Oh, okay. And yeah. um, I think this one got me. I don't know, maybe the dal or something. Um, <laughs> I was <Mid-meal>. okay. Oh! <laughs> Eyes all wide. I, I was okay until the next morning, and then oh, I had a bit okay. of a shiver, and then by that, oh. luckily, I was, we had to do a, um, a full car ride to Yudepo, a 10-hour drive, yeah. and nothing was <sighs> going on bad yet, but that night, Ooh. bathroom yeah. all night. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can't imagine that. Yeah. This is and how are you this. enjoying um, eating without utensils? Most of your meals are consumed with just your hands, right? They don't yeah, give you yeah. utensils, especially for the dolly set. Yeah, I've always I found, that's the first thing I noticed. I, I was constantly eating with my hands, constantly. A lot of places no? do have forks. Like, uh, but oh. yeah, I use, I mm. use the naan and soak it up. And I try to eat yeah. it in the I would take place. the rice, everything. I was like, <laughs> just slurping it. And keep in mind, yeah. I was there for six weeks. So I'm just used to just eat with my hands. And by the time I left, I actually flew back to Europe. I went to Madrid. I was going to restaurants. I find myself eating with my hands. And everybody kept <laughs> really? looking at me. And I thought... Oh, yeah. I was eating with my hands. And I, was, I was like, oh, my God, I'm slurping so loud. Like, I am so sorry. I'm, I'm back to, like, civilization. <laughs> Everyone just kept staring. I was like, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, Jesus, I'm a little too loud. I was clearly but famished. But I must say, like, the food is amazing. Mm. Like, I slowly got my confidence back at you know, day four, and I tried mm. this masala pineapple. I'll tell you what, on our Instagrams, join our Instagram, I'll put a whole... <laughs> a post of all my food that I've eaten and this yeah, one yeah, look yeah. out for this one it's called it was called pineapple masala so it's pineapple in the masala sauce and they yes, uh, yeah. roasted it on the fire holy it was amazing because you get the spiciness of the masala but then you get the yeah. juiciness of the pineapple and the roastiness mm. 
amazing, amazing. And uh, I'll put photos on our Instagram. It was, it was amazing. Like, I do love the food. I just wish my stomach liked the food. But yeah. Sure. Um, I mean, you get used to it after a while. I'm not sure how long. How, how long are you planning to stay in India? I didn't ask. Uh, I plan to, like, the cricket team's coming out soon. So I want to watch a bit of the cricket. And then um, I'll, I'll, I got a one year visa. Like, I could talk about this in a future podcast, but the visa was so easy to get. Um, yeah. It gives me options. So you're allowed to stay here for one year, but only three months at a time. So yeah. uh, I, I plan to go back to Australia and see my new niece uh, in yes. April. So mm-hmm. if I can survive up to there, we'll just see. Um, how about you, Hokun? <laughs> Going to Bali the first time, did you freak out? Uh, what's, what's the freakiest con- uh, place that you've been to that, like, to start off with? First impression. Actually, I... I... I, I I didn't have like all the all the country yeah. have their like own 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 cultures and then like I'm I'm kind of person yeah. who are you know study that country yeah. before you go into it so yeah. and then like I I was actually planning to visit India before and then that made me like <laughs> okay drop this shit I'm not going to <laughs> India. <laughs> If you wouldn't want to see the Taj Mahal at all, at least the Taj Mahal, you wouldn't want to see that. It's the new ancient wonder of the world. Well, modern wonder of the world, I should say. Yeah, I heard a it's lot that Taj, well, I mean, like Taj Mahal is breathtaking, but um, your breath will be taken by the other people who are like pack up all the way, like from the train to the Taj Mahal and inside of the Taj Mahal, and then yeah. one of my friend actually recommend me to go to Taj Mahal uh the best view is the uh watching Taj Mahal across the river behind it yeah yes. I try to find yes. that yeah yeah yes mm. yeah that's true yeah but I reckon Hokkien you love the food here you love the food so the much food play. is good after a while and like I was I telling you when I commented on Keith's appearance yeah. like there it's very hard to, again, <laughs> alcohol. It really is, depending which province, yeah. which state you are. Because, again, it's, it's all government controlled. Not all places, yeah. not all provinces. Uh, at least in yeah. Delhi, it is government-run shops. But everything is more vegetarian because it's predominantly um, Hinduism and predominantly Muslim, right. right? So you're not getting access to pork or meat or chicken. So it's, it's a complete uh, vegetarian diet. You're walking everywhere. It's like 40 degrees every damn day. So you're just constantly just sweating. <sighs> you're not drinking. For me, it was like a six-week rehab. Right. And so by the time I remember left, I remember I just shed so much weight. Now, when I look at photos of myself, like at the Taj Mahal, that was like a week before I left. And I was just, just, just bones. I just couldn't yeah. look the way I looked. I was so thin. I was really? like, wow, I wish I could look like that again, but not to that extent. But uh, yeah. when I went to the Taj, I, um, I went at sunrise because I heard like that was the best time to go. So I traveled middle of the night on the train from Delhi to, to Agra. Um, we'll talk about trains in a, in a second soon. Um, and then I got there like at one in the morning. I had to sleep. I slept in like the, the station, like the ticket station, because I dared not step foot outside um, until, again, the sun came up. And then I kind of made my way. I walked for at least a good hour. Then I hailed a tuk-tuk all the way to the gates. And I think, yeah. I don't know if it, I had admission changed, but the prices were like, I think $30 for foreigners and like $5 for locals. Something crazy, like, like, yeah. thir- like 3,000 rupees or something like that. Yeah. I forget. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, like it, it is... It wasn't yeah, I forget exactly what it cost. It was uh thirteen hundred rupees, whatever that is in dollars. Sure. Uh, about twenty six dollars, yes. I mm-hmm. think. Um yeah. but everything costs money here in India. All the attractions cost money. Like uh I just if you come to like what we've done, like because uh she got quite nervous who I'm traveling with, we ended up paying like quite a bit of money and just getting a car the whole time. So when, we haven't Ooh. done train I haven't I haven't done trains yet. Um, don't. <laughs> so I it's don't. been quite relaxing we've done the relaxing side but what must be nice do, um yeah. in Udaipur or something we, we learned that in like Jaipur and in Agra like like our driver will hook us up with a tuk-tuk driver and, and then they're going to take us to 10 places and we're gonna, you're going to pay them this much and I'm like hold on a second mm-hmm. no let mm-hmm. us tell you what we <laughs> want to do because yeah. I know uh, this is going to cost two, like this temple is going to cost three hundred. So this one's going to cost four hundred. Nah, nah. Tell me what each one costs, and we'll pick which ones we want to go to. And uh, we learned to stop 
we will choose what we want to do. Mm, yeah, like because sure. yeah. everything yeah. costs money here. Everything. Yeah. yeah. And it, there's nothing for free. Nothing for free. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but remember like, his first tip: everything is yeah. negotiable. Everything. <laughs> everything. But I will say, on on the whole, apart from that first night, I want to say we felt unsafe since. So. I know people have their theories about India. I, I would say with, obviously we're doing the car, which is quite uh, a bit more easier than what you did with the trains. But yeah. uh, overall, like the people, 99% of the people have been safe and nice. And like, even when they're trying to sell us stuff, no one's touching us. I don't care if they're trying to sell us stuff as long as they don't get physical or yeah. to mm. uh, uh, speak badly or stuff like that, spit or something like this. I've heard people yeah. get yeah. spit at. As long as they don't do that, I don't care. Like I can just ignore them, you know. Like sure, I got good at ignoring them. So overall, I must say the Indian people have been quite not, uh, good. Uh, and another common thing, I don't know if you've experienced it, we get asked for a lot of selfie photos. So we're always getting photos from people uh, wanting a photo because I got blonde hair, and yes. the girl, mm. the girl I'm traveling in, she's quite pretty. So. Yes. Um, I think she's taking the attention, a lot of attention that I would have got away from me, which is, I'm like, all right, have a photo, have a photo. And again, like, we we say yes most of the time. And like, you know, sometimes you have YouTube, you want to subscribe to YouTube, they always like, use it as a promotion. But um, one person out of probably 100 photos we've taken took it too far with her and we're like, no. Nah. Like, he tried to touch her and we're like, no, no way. Exactly. And, uh, one person ruins it for everyone. Yeah. yeah. Tip number four. Is I actually heard this that not only did I get selfies taken like a lot, either whether it was whether they asked for my permission or not, because I would always I call my eyes, see people trying to take like selfies of me in the background. A lot of times they approach you, you got to be careful because sometimes it's a scam because yeah. of what they want to do, they want to distract you while they pickpocket, they travel in groups, yeah. right? So while they're doing that, they're like rummaging through your stuff, trying to take things off of you. So yeah. again, you just got to be mindful of that. Yeah. But luckily, nothing but, has happened. Yeah. On the whole, everyone's been pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and like the, we've done a lot of temples, a lot of um, mountains, cable cars, and the camera safari. We did a camera safari where I am now in uh, Pushka. Uh, yes. It's it pushing that sort of treatment to animals sort of boundary. And like I thought, we went to an animal sanctuary and we walked away. We like, uh, I don't think this is what we want to do. But, but yeah. we sort of pushed. Uh, we, we, she really wanted to do an animal safari, uh, camel safari. We camped in the desert. It was really cool. Uh, but yeah, so mm -hmm. just research on the animal stuff as well. I can just, uh, it sort of pushed my boundary a little bit, but we did, I did it. So yeah. You know, I to judge, but yeah. Yeah. That's good too. I think when I, I've, I, I, I used to love like going to zoos and stuff before, and then now I'm all about like, I can't do it. I get depressed watching animals because just this weekend we went to Everland, took my family, I go all the time. But just going back to the zoo again, they have a new panda exhibit. You can't help but just to feel bad. Like, ah, oh, just run away, free the animals, just let yeah. them roam. And in yeah. India, especially in the Southern India, like near Aleppo, actually went on this actual safari. So you can actually see the animals in their natural sanctuaries. I got to see a herd of elephants, the babies in the water and all that. So that, that was beautiful. Monkeys in the tree, just flinging their shit around freely, happily. That's nice, rather than seeing them in cages. Now, I want to refer back so help you get some more time to chat. Um, yeah, the fact that you said that when you travel, help <laughs> June, you say you like to do a lot of research. Like, what are some things that you like to focus on primarily before boarding a ticket or, you know, even and think about purchasing a ticket? What, what are some things that appeal to you in a new country? Good question. Thank you. Uh, like, <laughs> kind of like cu cultural authentic, um, authenticity. Authenticity. Yeah, authenticity. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, um, I, big word. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, every time I uh, choose the places that I want to go, is that um, how can I enjoy their new cultures? Like all the country have their their own like cultural things, and then I'm always looking for you know these new cultural things. Like yeah. like when you go to Thailand, you you have to go to the Buddhist temples, like. Each temples have their unique meanings, and then you know you learn how they, you know, dissolved in their you know everyday life. And then yeah. when you go to like Bali, like Bali's people, they are Hindi, like mm -hmm. eight, more than eighty ninety percent is Hindi. So um, their life 
is like soaked with the Hindi culture. So uh, yeah, yeah, those kind of like uh, cultural things is the one that I'm actually looking for to, you know, enjoy or experience. And what what, yeah, what rank? Where does drinking rank in the order of priorities? <laughs> so culture number one. <laughs> how how yeah. far below is drinking underneath that? <laughs> Food. <laughs> well, drink, drinking might be number three because um, like the culture thing is one, and the food is two. I was the just gonna say, yep. Go great with the uh, with the drinks pairing. They should complement each oh, other. That's yeah. right. That's yes. absolutely right. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So what, what's your favorite? budget? Yeah. I was just gonna say, what about budgeting? Is that ever a priority of you or of yours? Do you think like, eh, the hell with it? I'm balling deep right now. I'm just gonna bring X amount of dollars and i'll be okay or are you kind of more on the frugal side where you're going to think yeah. hey, i'm going to you know save more money in my pocket so i can have x amount to really enjoy myself there like or when is, you, is it no factor when you try to make a budget then you have this like instinct that um okay this country is very expensive and that country is kind of cheap so you have that in your mind so um okay maybe um like 30 bucks per day or like okay this country is like at least 300 dollars per day so um when you have that like in like instant calculation then okay so um to hell with it like okay that's the, my budget limit and then i will go low okay. with it yeah okay but i will say you got to be careful with that like in india india is cheap it is cheap but you do start hmm. throwing money around like you know to get across the delhi 100 rupees 150 rupees and you translate it's only like a dollar fifty two dollars but if you do four or five of those throughout the day okay that's now up to nine dollars ten dollars plus food you think food you can get food for a dollar or you could get food for five dollars there's another five dollars it depends what your budget is but like just the cheap countries just because you think that they are cheap compared to australia where you're paying thirty dollars for a meal but mm -hmm. Slowly, like you, if you have a little bit of a budget, it will, you, you'll find it chips away quite uh, fast as well. Yeah, yeah like, that's uh, true. Yeah, yeah. I'm you know, cheap like, wherever I go. Whether it's expensive, I'm still like 30 bucks here, uh, 30 bucks here. I'm just cheap like that. All right, back to the convenience <laughs> store for me. Ramen noodles, it is. <laughs> in comparison yeah. with like food and drink and tuk tuks, the attractions here, like the temples and the forts and stuff, are uh, at a premium price. Like here in India, like they charge a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. In comparison to the food and the drink, uh, like that sort of ratio, they charge a good amount to foreigners. So you got to, that's why I like, I want to pick which uh, tourist attraction I wanted to go to because, you know, like the forts can be 700 rupees, which is only about eight, nine dollars. But if you want to do three attractions throughout the day, it adds up. It does add up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a big money then. Yeah. And then like the temples, I like, I, I'm, forgiving with all religions and I like, you know, I'm happy for people to have a religion, but when they monetize religion, it annoys me. So the temple where I here in Pushka, the main one, like I understand you got to take your shoes off, fine. And then you got to shoe check them and you got to pay someone to pay for the shoe check. Then you got a oh, bag really? check. All right. Okay. I understand yeah. if you want a bag check, if it's for security reasons or you know, bomb or whatever. Okay. There should be yeah. one security office and I give this bag someone, Nah, everyone's got their little boost. You got a security check. You got a security check. Okay, I got a security check. My bag. Here's more yeah. money. Yeah. And then you got to buy all these roses and stuff. Like, I just want to check out the temple. I don't need to give offerings, but you got to buy the roses and the foods and all this. Oh, you got to do it. You have to do it. You have to buy this stuff. I'm like, really? Do I? I just want to check it out. Really? You sure? Yeah. Oh, here, here, here's more money. You go. Like. That, I don't like it. So, and then you walk into the camera. temple, and then you turn your head, you look at the locals with their shoes on, with all their backpacks, with no roses. Yeah. It's like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Damn That's it, it happened uh, again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it annoys me. But like, I, yeah. Nothing gets religions, but people that monetize religions, oh my God. It, sure. it, yeah. it pisses yeah. me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, um, I mean, yeah. that's a good insight. Like, yeah. Overall, like, I really am enjoying it. Like, it is a good trip. It's interesting because i got, like, two more days with my friend, and then I'm going to go solo. So it'll be interesting what it's like solo. Um, yeah. Ooh. And then, yeah. you know, the flexibility of having visas and countries nearby, like, if I stop enjoying it, I can just 
Uh, or if I want to take a break, I'll just jump over to a different country, get a beach or, <laughs> you know, Philippines or Thailand. There's so much to explore. So I have yes. a budget. And once that budget's mm -hmm. gone, I got to start finding a teaching or do another job. But, you know, I've just got a budget to enjoy the next two, three months of my life and keep doing what I'm doing. So I don't care what country that it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tough it out in India for a little longer. Yeah. If you need a little escape again, if you're looking for beaches, definitely head to Goa. Head to Goa, head to Arambol. You're, there's so many Westerns there. A lot of drugs if you're into that. A lot of drum circles, the beach, fires on the beach. You rent a little scooter. It's beautiful. Again, yeah. it was formerly colonized by the Portuguese. There's a lot of like Catholic churches. I believe Catholicism still thrives there. So you still get the, like, the European architecture there. So you kind of forget that you're actually in India until yeah. you have all the vendors approaching. Say, my friend, my friend, my friend, buy this. It's like, please, just leave me alone. We're not friends. But yeah, mm, really great. Yeah. Well, that's that's actually surprising to me because um I never heard like uh like seashores, the beaches in in India. I I never heard yeah. of it because um I, I mean like pretty sure they have it, but um never like they're always like Ganges River and then sure uh, Varanasi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just stumbled upon it after uh, fifty hours on a train heading nowhere. With no air conditioning in the third class section and oh. just sleeping on a luggage rack with no fans so it was just excruciating so stay in your car enjoy your ac <laughs> pay the extra 100 yeah. 200 dollars and just just live in luxury you know and while yeah yeah good now. so yeah, yeah, that's, that's all i gotta say there, i think hmm. Mm -hmm. I doubt you're on any malaria pills. I had to take malaria pills. I had to get my shots, but it was all recommended. I just want to play it safe. So yeah, I wish yeah. you luck for the rest of your trip. Update us. Uh, yep. If you guys are right, we should probably end the episode here if you guys are okay with that. Yep. You know, our time is running short. Unless there's something you'd like to add, yeah. either of you? No? No, it just okay. support us on Instagram. I'll throw some photos of my last 10 days of uh, India and check out the food photos, like the pineapple masala. I recommend someone try that or get their cooks to make it for them. It's delicious. Yeah. 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 Definitely be on looking at all of our socials. I look out for any future videos, reels, or um, photos coming from Keith's way. All right. So check out our socials. I will be uploading photos from India and Dubai. I'll show you what I've been doing the last 10 days. So we've got our Instagram, uh, Facebook, I, and YouTube. Linktree. Yes. <laughs> Linktree link tree as well. I know. I always yeah, put it out tree. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so follow us along. I'll, we'll try to add more stuff along the journey um, and uh, I'll show you what I get up to. Maybe I can convince Hock Chun to come and join me somewhere and travel with me. That'd be cool. Uh, so follow us all on right. all our socials, Insta, Facebook, Linktree, YouTube. we got it all. It's good to see you again, boys. Good to see you, kids. Stay safe. Yeah. Avoid the deli belly. Make sure when you get some water that you open it before. Make sure it wasn't open pre you know, you'll get sick that way. Stay away from the water. Yeah. Yeah. Great to see great. you in one piece. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> He's still alive. That's good. Continue yeah, to check in with right. us and we'll see you guys next yeah. week. Good night to everybody listening. See you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.